Hello everyone, my name is Adam Marie Post Vox. Welcome back to another Ubuntu 16.04 tips video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install some games along with Steam to download some Steam games. So to install Steam, open up your terminal ter, 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 terminal and go to or type in sudo apt dash git install steam. And it's gonna pop up the Steam installer. Click OK. Actually, you have to. This is in the terminal, so you have to kind of navigate your way to it. Use the arrow key to scroll down through the license agreement. Hit tab to go over to OK and hit enter. Go down, I agree, enter. It's going to start the installation process. And you're good to go. So if we type in Steam, it's going to pop it up, start updating. Looks a little old school in here, but it's updating, so it should update the look a little bit as well. And there are, people don't realize this, but there are plenty, 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 plenty of Steam games, both old and new, that actually support Linux now because SteamOS is Linux based. SteamOS is a Linux Ubuntu-esque distribution that just focuses on running Steam, just like Chrome OS is a Linux distribution that just focuses on running Chrome. And so there's lots of games you can download from Steam and run on your Linux machine without needing Windows or emulation or crazy drivers or anything. It's pretty cool. It'll give Steam a chance to update and then I will have two-factor authentication I got to do. And then you can also download Ubuntu supported games from various websites and things like that, but also from the software center here. There are some in here. So if you go over to categories and games and click all, there's a list of all. There's the featured list. There's just a few in here. Uh, we definitely want chess. Always want chess. You want chess on every computer you can have. Chess is a fantastic game that everyone should know how to play. Frozen Bubble. Why the hell not? I'm not actually keeping this machine. Open Arena, fast paced 3D first person shooter. Let's check it out. Uh, you got Super Tux Kart, which is a Mario Kart clone, but for Linux. Well, not really Mario Kart, but you know, a, a little racing game. You got Minesweeper. And it's already launched, so we can go ahead and open that. You can choose what kind of Minesweeper game you want to run. Steam's still doing its updating thing. Let's do 16 by 6. Holy crap, never mind. Change difficulty. 8 by 8. <laughs> All right, let's poke there. All right, gotta be there. No, nope, that 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 was the mine. That's what I meant to. Okay. No, oh, Jesus. Mm. All right, it's gotta be that one. Right. All right. Nope, oh, it paused my game. All right, Steam's ready. But yeah, you got plenty of games, and they work just like normal games. Like there's nothing crazy here. It's just games, and so. Those are going to install. Steam's ready, so we're going to go back to checking out Steam. Log in just like you normally would. And then there will be two-factor authentication. I'll pull up my code here. See, my accounts are secure, guys. I definitely keep my stuff locked down. All right, and while that's going, we also have Open Arena here, which is set up very much similar to Quake. So then we can go to Setup, System. We got custom graphics settings. We can change the resolution here. It would be 1280 by 720. That's fine. Except, there we go. Uh, single player skirmish next fight. Sure. And we have ourselves a quake like game here. Which I'm naturally. I've lost the lead. Oh. I don't have any room to- Oh! Get wrecked. Alright. Ah! Enough of that. Uh, escape. Oh, let my. Okay. Alt F4. There we go. Yeah, open Frozen Bubble. Start one player game. Uh, okay, use the arrow key for this one. Oh, it's one of. The, uh, okay, it's one of those kind of games. Okay. We don't need to worry about that. That game's. Uh, I'm not a fan. But see. Alright, how do I sort? Uh, oh, yeah. See? So if you click the games category, you can sort by SteamOS and Linux. Now I have about. 
600 to 700, 611 games, and 186 of them support Steam, including, or support Linux, including Borderlands 2, Counter-Strike Go, Left 4 Dead 2, Team Fortress 2, Mayan Death Robots, uh, World of Goo, Half-Life, Evil Land, Dungeons Defender, or Dungeon Defenders, Dungeons of Dreadmore, Limbo, Bastion, so, Cave Story, uh, so many games, Insurgency, all these games support running on Linux. Just na- natively, you can just install and tell it to start downloading, and you're good to go. So, this is how you download Steam, Steam games, and other games in Linux in Ubuntu 16.04. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, get subscribed, and I'll check you out in the next video.